What's up, big soccer heads? I'm Eric Krakauer. That's Lloyd Sam. We're at The View, Charlotte, and we have a wonderful view, and this is Crown Talk. Where are you going to leave, man? What the itty bitty building down there. I mean, I'll take both. Where do we, where do we start this week? Where I'll tell you where we're going to start. We're going to start by congratulating our video manager, Brittany, That's who right. got engaged Bavocado. to Emma. Avocado, as, as you call it. So congratulations to you, Brittany. Right now, I know you're enjoying a vacation somewhere in Florida. Crazy. I was trying not to say where Should she be is. Bahamas. Uh, you know, trying to keep Sorry, the, I'm, the, I'm, the stalkers I'm, away. <laughs> I'll put a location out. There, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, sorry, about GPS coordinates <laughs> as well. Uh, let's talk about the game against Atlanta United. Okay, that's uh, a good place to start. It is another home win. 1-0, an Olympico. I think it was the first Olympic of the season in MLS, but the performance in general was one that pleased you. What Charlotte's getting going now is a nice run of home games. What's it, three wins on the bounce? At home, yeah. And it's a real party atmosphere. I was in the bar watching Al Sivar do his little dance yep. and the little twirl around. What's that dance called? I have no idea. It's not the Macarena. No. That's not the Macarena. No, it looks like the Macarena, <laughs> though. It's, I don't know what it nobody's is. Nobody's uttered the word Macarena <laughs> in like a decade. I know, I'm showing my age again. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it was a fun day in the end. Obviously, uh, only 1-0, could have been more. Yep. This was a game that the points meant everything. It was, you would even have took a bad performance and yep. got the three points. Yep. Uh, obviously, with the fixtures coming up, which we're going to talk about, but some other performances now. Remember, there's been Swiderski with the back-to-back -back braces, Bender, who had taken a lot of the accolades. Yep. But this game, Bronico, Jalen Lindsay steps up. Kalina again, nice bounce back. Yep. So they're taking turns in who's going to be the star for the week, which is good. You look at the league table, you know, it looks great to look at it and see where Charlotte is in the table right now. So fifth at the moment, on top of that playoff watermark. Fifth, and I think players are confident yep. going into this tough, tough spell of away games. Um, like back to back to back away games. Did I say enough back to me? Back to back to back to back. It's yeah, four. Yeah. No, it's three. Oh, with the with, with the US Greenville. Open. Yes. Look it's at you, huh? Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> not skipping, I had not my skipping to me. Yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> so New England is next. It was against New England that Charlotte FC got their first historic win. Yeah. Shvidersky announced himself to the league and, and maybe the world. But that was a New England revolution that had a, a midweek game. They're still wounded because yeah. they've lost four games in a row. They're going to be better. But they have something to prove and they're in front of their home fans. They're going to be right at it. They've lost a few games in a row. It's at their home place, their fans. Obviously, there's pressure on. Bruce Arena's the manager. I just feel like this is going to be such a tough test going in there. And I hope, you know, we learn from the game we don't speak of and we go in there looking for the win because they're not at their most confident. Imagine an early goal yep. that would really heap the pressure on. They would love an early goal. I think it's all about the early part of this yep. game, the first 15, 20 minutes, because th those early goals make such a difference. I think every time Charlotte FC scored first, they've won a game. Yep. So that's going to be huge. You know, you want to start nice and, you know, I always say take it to them uh, nice and early. So that's what, that's what you're going to need to do. You mentioned um, during our last broadcast that this this month, April, yeah. is going to be a good way, a good metric for yeah. us to measure where Charlotte FC are. It was tough enough without this Greenville game that's just been sprung yeah. in there. Yeah. Then you've got Colorado. So tough games ahead for Charlotte FC. Next up, the New England Revolution, whom Charlotte FC got their first historic win against. They'll be out for revenge as the Crown look to get points on the road for the first time in their maiden campaign. Tune in at 7 o'clock on Saturday. You like my shades or what? <laughs> Just have to... I mean, the, the color coordination is, is pretty good. Just have to I, put I, on I, I gotta say. I'm I, a company man. Put this yeah. on in the uh, team store, you know? I think lives in this building, right? Oh, look at you exposing locations. We still have that. Oh yeah, let's not put. Let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not put. Yeah, let's let's not include that. Let's not. Let's not hey, you got to include that. Man. Remember when I said put it in the bloopers? In, in, the, in the bloopers when he signs for another team or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't include that. That would that would be bad.